<laughs> Welcome to the newest Minecraft version, Bread Rock. <laughs> In order to play on this Minecraft version, you must have a loaf of bread, preferably sourdough. <laughs> so, that's what I was thinking. Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Peachy. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I just do primarily um, equestrian gaming, but I may dabble in a few other things. I also live stream a lot, so if you guys are into that, keep an eye on my channel for those. If you guys are returning, welcome back. I'm glad I didn't scare you away. Another swim video means another quick announcement in the beginning of the video. Swim is an upcoming Minecraft mod for 1.16.5 that is going to be for Java Minecraft on PC only. You can't play on your iPad, you can't play on your iPhone, you can't play on your air fryer, your rice cooker. You can only play on PC. Just wanted to say that before we get a lot of questions on that. No, Swim will not be coming out for other devices. Swim is still in development, which means we don't know when it's going to be released. We don't have a date or an estimate of a date. We are currently in our first phase of beta testing, which is very exciting for the mod's production. But on the other hand, we can't give an estimate. So if somebody asks, oh, hey, when is Swim going to be released? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. But before you ask anything, make sure to check out the FAQ on Discord or ask a question on Discord for a quicker response. I can't promise that I'll be able to answer all of your questions. I'll probably just link you to the Discord. Swim is going to be 100% free, which means you don't have to pay any money to get it when it is out. You can either play on single player or we'll have a server available for those who want to play alongside us in our community. But if you guys would like to support financially, we do have a Patreon, which helps us out a ton. No matter what you're doing, whether it's supporting us financially, sharing to friends, or just being here to support us, it really does mean a lot. So thank you. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another swim video. You guys really showed some love on the last one, so I just wanted to hop on swim and make a quick video to also announce the name of the horse that I let you all pick the name of. In the last video, I asked all of you to name this chestnut horse and um, I let you all choose a gender and I got a lot of comments. It was really difficult to pick the name because I loved all of them, even like the simple ones. Like I saw Cheese and I was like, I wanna name this horse Cheese. You guys have no idea how close I was to naming this horse Cheese, okay? So it was very difficult. I'm sorry if your name wasn't picked, but I put them all on a list. So slowly but surely I'm going to grow my horse family and I'm going to name them all the names that you suggested. I went with the name Pumpkin and it's gonna be a cute little Western mare. Well, she's not little at all she's pretty tall compared to the average the average minecraft horse so we're gonna take this off and we're going to name oh okay i clicked the wrong thing we're gonna name her pumpkin i'm gonna put a little heart i love that name so much and since it is fall we have the perfect time of year for her to be named pumpkin her stall isn't set up though so i'm gonna have to take her out and um set up her stall a little bit because they both have beautiful set up stalls and pumpkin just has a bare stall and i feel so bad i wasn't able to set it up last time so i'm gonna do that really quick i saw a few comments in the last video asking if we can mix dark and light shavings and we actually can you just have to be careful because shavings are like snow in minecraft so they replace each other so you kind of just have to spot it around. I personally don't like how it looks, I'm gonna be honest. It just looks like a little messed up, but we're gonna try it for the sake of those who asked. I actually, you know what, I take that back. I think it does look a little classy. It looks more realistic. So this is what it looks like when the stall is being used. You can see there's some droppings on the ground already, and we'll be able to pick those up with the pitchfork and put them in the wheelbarrow along with the um, soiled shavings. I'll show some examples along with it. 
today I'm going to be taking Pumpkin out and working with her on getting some western stuff done. I really do like how the um, whitewash fence looks, so I'm going to use it in the western version. There is a there's a small typo with that one, but that'll be fixed. This is my makeshift little western arena. Um, if the landscapers are watching this, no you're not. It's okay, I will delete it after. I'm not going to be disrespectful to the landscapers. I didn't delete any of the hills, so it's not like it's going to be difficult to clear up. Mm, good enough. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the best distance that I've found. Wait, is that right? That was five. I can't count. It looks very interesting, so we're going to go back to the barn. Now that we're back to the barn... <gasps> Hi, pumpkin! Me baby talking a pixelated horse. <laughs> Let's bring her over to the hitching post. And by hitching post, I mean... Yeah, there's a hitching post over here. Pumpkin! Get off the furniture! Silly goose, come back here. You look so cute. Oh my gosh, she hates me. All right, we're taking it slow. No, pumpkin, stop it. Pumpkin, we talked about this. We're on video, you can't do this to me. Okay, she's she's just having a moment. She, Go forward. I'm just pressing H. I'm just telling her to go up a gate and she's having an attitude right now. She does not like me right now. <laughs> Good, okay. Steady canter. Thank you, Pumpkin. You guys can already see that horses are going to have a personality and Pumpkin is already showing off hers right now. Like, I press H to go up a gate to gallop and she's like, no ma'am, no ma'am. All right, Pumpkin. This is simple. You ready? I'm gonna explain it to you, Pumpkin, okay? Oh, fine, just walk away. I explained this last video, but I'm gonna explain it again. We have jump, speed, health, tolerant, which is bonding, basically. As you can see, all of them, jump, speed, and health are one. So they'll go up as you use the horse. Speed, we're gonna try to get speed up. Jump, she doesn't really need jump because she's a western horse, but I will use her on the trails from time to time. So, okay. I just want this to go smoothly. This horse is already not fond of me. I can tell by the way she's acting. Dolphin and Teramesu never gave me this problem. So Pumpkin, you have an attitude and we need to fix that. All right, I guess that's my answer. <laughs> I really do think the yellow tack looks adorable on her though. And I like how the Western and English saddles look different. There's not just one Minecraft saddle. We're just gonna do the, do our little dancey dance. I'm doing the barrel routine backwards, but that's okay. I just want to go to a canter, please. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my gosh. The pixelated horse listened to me. So ever since I was little, pole bending has been my favorite rodeo event. Barrels is in a close second, even almost to first, but pole bending was always my favorite. I couldn't explain why. It just was. I don't think I'm going to be able to gallop for a while on pumpkin. <laughs> we'll just keep on riding. Oh, did you guys just see her speed go up a little bit? Is it speed level two? Yeah, I just saw her speed boost a little bit. We were doing so well. No, I was just at a canter with you. Can you go up, please? Up to a canter. Pumpkin, please. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my gosh, are we galloping? Pumpkin, we've done it. The fun thing that we've already discussed in different streams is how we hope to have each horse having their own personality being able to remember people and being able to distinguish people they trust from people they don't know. And we're gonna try the poles in a canter because I can't do pole bending in a gallop. I really can't. For people who can, you have skill. Okay, you, you, you got the spirit, but you went down a gate before going to a gallop. You can see now that she is at speed four and we are now in a committed, bonding relationship which means she isn't bucking me as much she's listening more which is nice she's also much faster which makes it more helpful i'm going to bring her back because i feel like it is time oh she can't jump i forgot about that see if i try to jump she rejects let's try one more time let me give her more of a nope okay yeah let's go isn't this fun, Pumpkin? She's like, no, Mom, put me down. And there's Teramesu waiting patiently for her mother to be back. I think she wants her dinner. What about Dolphin? Hi, Dolphin. 
<laughs> Dolphin is debating life right now. He's going through a phase. Meanwhile, Pumpkin's trying to moonwalk. Would orange look good on her? I think orange fits her. It doesn't it doesn't counteract her color. It kind of makes it more vibrant in a way. Western bridle on her stall for next time. All horses have a prep stall. Um, I need to muck out her stall really quick. She has no stats too. So for Terame Sue, I think I said I was gonna make her an adventure horse. But I really do want to make her an English horse. I'm thinking about making her a dressage horse or a jumper's horse. Dolphin is going to be eventing, so Dolphin's going to be, you know, how eventing has three disciplines, dressage, jumpers, and cross country. Well, I'm thinking about making Teramesu just jumpers or just dressage. But her coloring kind of just screams jumpers to me. I don't know why. I think Dolphin, if I tug him away, yeah, Dolphin's like, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me, mom. I'm, I'm debating life. Anyways, everyone, that is all for today's video. Before I go, I do want to let you all know that I will be starting up shoutouts again. In my earlier videos, when I only had a few thousand subscribers, not even, I had this little shoutout thing where I would every week allow people to comment and get a chance at a shoutout. I will be doing that, but I will also be doing shoutouts for those who support me. No matter what you're doing, if you're liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing with friends, financially helping with anything, that is still supporting no matter what it is, no matter what version it is supporting. So thank you to everyone who has come forward and helped me get to this achievement of 10k and we're already almost to 11k so that's just crazy to me that we're growing so quick um i'm currently editing this and i just had 11k so just disregard everything i said there thank you so much but just disregard everything i recorded this a few days ago if you guys haven't seen on my Instagram bio, there is something called Koji. Koji is the sort of site to help you put a bunch of different links and a different ways to connect with me in a small area for you all to access. So I'm going to be putting my Koji link in the description and it's also in my Instagram bio. You guys can access all sorts of different things in one place without having to click a ton of different links. If you guys look on my Koji, you will see two new options. One of them is the love jar, which is a way to support me and to leave a cute little message. You can either be anonymous, which I don't mind at all, or you can leave a name or at or something like that. And I will go ahead and give you a shout out no matter what. Anyways, I just wanted to let you all know that that is now an option. I didn't want it just to be a random thing that I added without announcing it or something. Oh, Teramesu. Look at her. Vibrant, beautiful. Now pumpkin too. Now for today's question, should Teramesu be adventure, which would be just a horse I ride around on the trails and adventure out on the world of swim, or should she be English for dressage or jumpers? I'm still deciding. I'm thinking she should be jumpers because I think she'd be a pretty cool jumpers horse. Do you want to say goodbye, Teramesu? Please feed me, mother. Very nice. Very proud of her. Bye, everyone.